This video describes the latest 472 and 500 kilohertz transverter for use with the FT817. This is a simpler design than my earlier one and uses the GW3 UEP approach of simple air wound coils on a 22mm formers made of PVC domestic piping. The transmit transverter uses no SBR1 this time, just a simple transistor mixer. As with the earlier transverter, the receive part is using the FT817 in split mode, passing the receive signal straight into the FT817 at either 472 or 500 kilohertz. Now here you can see the setup with the FT817 and the sync signal link uh, USB interface from the PC, which is on the right hand side over here. This then feeds from the FT817 into the transverter here, which then feeds to the ATU, which consists of an, a little simple ferrite rod with taps on. That matches my vertical antenna, which is only about 6 metres long. Down here you've got the small current meter, which just measures the antenna current on the meter scale. And because it's not quite 50 ohms when matched in series with the stepped inductance, I've got the little Helicraft ATU in circuit as well, just to bring it into 50 ohms. I'm just going to give it a quick burst of whisper now, just on the test screen, and you should see the meter flick. And that's now measuring the antenna current at about 40 microamps uh, on the meter, which corresponds to an ERP of around 40-45 milliwatts uh, from the antenna. And finally, here's the transverter going on to transmit on whisper. It's currently receiving and in a few seconds it'll switch over to transmit and give a burst on 500 kilohertz whisper. So get ready. I'm going to start to go to transmit any moment now. It's switched over now. Red lights come on and the meter is showing antenna current of about 40-45 micro uh, milliwatts rather.